So far, deputies don't have much to go on in terms of leads in the killing of a Parlier teenager. Fox 26 reporter Marie Edinger explains investigators believe the home was singled out, but aren't sure if the teenager who was killed, Richard Chavana, was the intended target. Family members tell me the Parlier High School junior was sitting in his room with his sister, his parents in their room, when nine shots rang through the window. At least some of those hit Ricardo. Shots rang out around 11 o'clock Sunday night. Parlier police rushed to the home near South Academy and East Parlier Avenues. When officers got there, they found 16-year-old Ricardo Chavana with several gunshot wounds. Try to rush over to where they were at. They didn't let me through. They didn't let the parents, nobody go in the ambulance either. So just waited and then got the call at four in the morning that he had passed away. Diego Garza is Chavana's cousin and his baseball coach. Chavana was the starting pitcher on the varsity team. Their first game of the year was supposed to be this Friday. Great athlete, great student, loved by everyone. This one's troubling. Uh, your house is supposed to be the safest place you can be. So to have a tragedy out like this play out, it's just terribly sad. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office is handling the case for Parlier Police. Right now, investigators are going through surveillance video trying to figure out who did this and whether Chavana was the intended target. At this point, uh, we do not have any motive. Uh, we don't have any suspects identified, nor any vehicles that might be affiliated with those suspects. The Parlier Unified School District is having psychologists and social workers available Tuesday. Staff at Parlier High have an emergency meeting before school. This was such a shocking and violent act. Is there any fear of future violence at the school? We have been in partnership for the whole year with the uh, police department. Our um, partnership has been focused on um, being able to be proactive um, and being able to set up mentorship with students, being able to um, um, identify possible situations that may um, infiltrate from the community into school. The school district and the sheriff's office are asking people to remain vigilant. Uh, there's somebody out there who just went up and shot up a house and killed a 16-year-old boy who had his whole life ahead of him. And if you know anything, it's time to step up. You need to give us the information so that we can solve this because there's nothing to say that this person isn't going to do this again and it could be your loved one that ends up getting hurt or killed. We haven't seen any memorial set up around the high school just yet, but do know that the school and the baseball team both have something planned for later this week. In Parlier, Marie Edinger, Fox 26 News. So once again, if you have any information that you think could help investigators find Ricardo Chavana's killer, call the Fresno County Sheriff's Office at 559-600-3111. We will have that number and other ways to submit tips on our website, camph.com, for you. Also on our website, you can find a link to the Chavana family's GoFundMe page.